Now I've just been working on my little pocket knife here because, well, here in the rural environment a man is not a man without a pocket knife. Let's just get this straight right now. And that's because a pocket knife is such a useful tool. Now a pocket knife, you can sharpen it any way you like, you sharpen it different ways, try it out for what you do and see how it works. Basically, the blade will have an edge that has two bevels and they just come together. I'm right-handed, so when I use the knife, I'm whittling away like this. Just pretend. Like so. To give me the best control when I'm using a pocket knife, the bevel on the bottom side of the blade is fairly flat. It's not, not very steep. But on the top side, it's a little more. So it's not, not even, both sides. So what is the angle, you say? I don't know. I don't care. I care about whether it works. So all I do is keep the knife fairly flat on the one side and a little more angle between the blade and the stone on what will be the top side when I use the knife. And again, I'm just using this piece of slate. That works very, very nicely. Off. That's sharp. That will work out just fine. Well, a pocket knife is a pretty simple tool. And knives are simple tools, but they're wonderful tools. Now, here's a knife that's, well, there's not much left of it a craft knife isn't really used for whittling or cutting too much. It's uh, used for marking, used for splitting little bits of fine work. So, but it's, it's sharpening is pretty much the same business as a pocket knife. And I'll use the same slate. And you can use other stones. On a tool like this, I Maybe we'll make it a little bit closer to the same angle for both sides. Again, though, I'm, I'm not measuring. I'm just going to go by feel. If I come out a little bit, one degree, two degrees, three degrees, five degrees in the difference, I don't care. I care about how it will work. And I've used this knife a long time. I know how it works. I'm comfortable sharpening it to make it work. Let's wipe it off and see what we're getting to. That will be fine for that knife. But here's a different kind of knife, a utility knife. Uh, commonly called a, a linoleum knife or a flooring knife. Basically it's just a knife, thin blade, bevel to both sides, but it has a complication. A bit of a hook in the blade. Now, when I say complication, we'll take our ordinary piece of slate. You can see right under it. It's not going to work. You're going to need to do something a little different. For that, you'll need a different stone. You'll need a stone that's curved. Now here's a stone we can use. Piece of soft Arkansas. Now it's a slip stone. It's rounded on one edge, knife edged on the other. But now whereas with my slate, I just use water, with these stones, well, I guess you could use water too, but we'll just put a spot of oil on it. What kind of oil? Well, any kind of non-drying oil. Don't put anything on it that might, uh, might dry, oxidize, you know. I just use olive oil. 
Now, if you see that round edge of the stone will get right into the curve of the knife. If it helps, you can set it down on a bench. Keep those angles fairly flat. You can test it just with your thumb. Getting close. But you see, sharpening knives is low stress, very simple. There are any number of different shapes of knives, but you get the idea of just from what we've done. Use stones that get to the edge. Water stones, oil stones, whatever you need. And simply sharpen them and try them out. See what they work like. Find the angles that you like. Don't go to a book looking for them. Find the angles that work for the way you work. Now, knives are wonderful tools. You can do so much with them. Don't neglect them in your shop. Get them, sharpen them, use them for all sorts of work. And it's good practice sharpening because it's no stress, no worry about particular angles and it will set you up for the next class of tool that we're going to deal with, bench chisels. So we'll see you then.